let's go through a technology that has been evolving around mankind with us however this is not something new it has been around us from ages but we are recognizing its presence in recent times so we are talking about nanotechnology around us it all started with the vision of feynman in 1959 as a science with his famous quote there is plenty of room at the bottom when he introduced the world to nanotechnology but literature says nanotechnology existing thousands of years back to in the form of lycurgus cup which is a 4th century roman glass made of dichroic glass showing red color when lit from behind and green color when lit from front to appreciate the scale of nano which is scientifically 1 billion start from a typical human of 1.75 meter height progressively go down to a fly then to a human hair to the limit of human eye and then to a bacteria and finally to dna which is 2 nanometer in width why all this special about nano because of its quantum size effects increased surface to volume ratio and the interdisciplinary nature of study just to keep you informed that gold nanostructures change its property especially color when reduced to nanoscale to appreciate the operation of nano around us let's take few examples Jeco feet which is known for its adhesion to walls because of its tiny nano sized hairs moth eye nano structures are well known examples of biological anti reflective surfaces which help protect them from predators lotus leaves owing to nano sized bumps on its surface are an inspiration to make water resistant and self cleaning paints and fabrics butterfly getting its beauty from the nano topography of its wings edelweiss is an alpine flower with woolly leaves and flowers for protection from uv light its hairs have thin hollow filaments with nano scale structures in 100 to 200 nanometer range dimensions of dna are inherently on the nano scale with the diameter of dna being 2 nanometer and helical pitch about 3.5 nanometer so what was the importance of knowing nano in nature nature is always energy efficient and hence we will be able to make better products by adopting from nature to add to all these we find nanotechnology very much promising with make weather hitting headlines recently in addition to all other applications so to conclude nano was here yesterday it is around us today and it will be our tomorrow thank you